What's up guys, my name is Ace, and a couple days ago we got a little bit of a nerf to the Rampart, as well as a slight buff to the SOG 9mm. A lot of people are wondering what these exact effects are, so in today's quick video we're going to be covering these changes. And first up, let's start it off with the Rampart. So the first thing that Treyarch did to the Rampart is they nerfed the aim down sight time by a pretty noticeable amount. Pre-patch, the Rampart had an aim down sight time that was standard for assault rifles at 300 milliseconds, although keep in mind, unlike a bunch of the other assault rifles, there is no option to use quick draw on the Rampart, so that's literally the best you could get was 300 milliseconds. After this patch, they slowed it down to roughly 330 milliseconds, which is now more in line with the LMGs in this game, and still, we have no option to use quick draw. So this is actually quite a big nerf to the Rampart. Even though it is just a couple frames, when it comes to aim down sight time, those couple frames can often make the difference between life and death, especially if your enemy takes you off guard. So that was the first nerf to the Rampart, and that one is definitely noticeable. The second thing they did is they reduced the maximum damage, which extends out to 35 meters and will be the vast majority of your gunfights, they reduced that from 46 down to 40. Now it might look a little bit scary seeing them drop the damage like that, but this change doesn't actually affect the number of shots it takes to kill in a standard situation without attachments. So at 46 damage, the Rampart is a 4 shot kill, and at 40 damage, the Rampart is a 4 shot kill. However, when we start looking at situations that aren't just the standard gunfight, we start to see a few situations where this will have an effect. So starting it off with the situations where you don't have attachments on the Rampart like high caliber, so this really applies more so to competitive play because in public matches, most people that are using the Rampart will have the high caliber attachments, but we'll get into high caliber in a little bit. Assuming you don't have high caliber, pre-patch you did have the ability within the maximum damage range to get a 3 shot kill if every one of your bullets hit them in the head. Post-patch you no longer have that ability, but at the same time it's relatively rare that all three of your bullets are connecting to the head. So this should only really affect a very very small portion of the gunfights with the Rampart. The next situation though, again assuming we aren't using attachments, is against armor. Pre-patch against armor, the Rampart would only take one extra shot to kill in the maximum damage range, so it would be a 5 shot kill instead of a 4 shot kill. Post-patch, it's actually a 6 shot kill against an armor user now. So this will definitely have an effect on the Rampart if you're not using attachments like High Caliber or FMJ, but like I said, realistically speaking, within public matches, which is where this applies because there's no body armor in competitive, most of the time people will be using either FMJ or High Caliber. So again, this is kind of an edge case where this is having an effect, and most of the time, if you're using the common attachments on this gun, this won't actually affect you. But speaking of high caliber, since they did nerf the base damage, you would think that would have an effect on the high caliber attachment as well, but they actually buffed the high caliber attachment to compensate for this nerf. So pre-patch, even though you were dealing 46 damage if you weren't hitting a high caliber zone, when you were hitting a high caliber zone, you would be dealing 59 damage. Post-patch, they've now dropped the base damage to 40, but they've increased the high caliber hit damage to 70. And what this means is if you're somebody that uses the high caliber attachments, which, like I said, most people in public matches that really know what they're doing will be using both of the high caliber attachments, you actually won't notice any difference whatsoever to your damage, assuming you're hitting your high caliber areas the same way as you were before. So pre-patch, if you hit just one bullet to the high caliber zone, which would be the upper chest if you're using high caliber 2, and then two other bullets anywhere else on the body, it could be his hand or his toe, you would be getting a three shot kill. Post-patch, with this buff to high caliber, that's still going to be the case. It just takes one bullet to a high caliber zone, and two anywhere else, and you're getting yourself a three shot kill. Same thing applies to when you're going against armor, if you're using that high caliber attachment, as long as you're hitting a bullet to the high caliber zone, it's only going to take you that one extra shot to kill, which is exactly how it behaved before the patch. So overall with the Rampart, the aim down sight nerf is definitely noticeable for anybody that's going to be using the Rampart, whether that be competitive play, public matches, regardless of your attachments, you will be noticing that nerf. However, the damage nerf really seems to be targeted just at competitive play. For public match players that are using the optimal setup with the Rampart, which is with double high caliber, these damage changes will have basically no impact whatsoever on you. I should also tack on here, this damage nerf will affect the flinch a little bit with the Rampart, so it will cause your enemies to flinch slightly less when shot. But again, that only applies if you're not hitting a high caliber zone, or if you're not using high caliber, which again, is more so targeted at competitive play. So hopefully that didn't get too confusing on you guys, I did want to share like all the different cases where this will have an effect on the Rampart and where it won't. But generally speaking, if you're a pub player and you use double high caliber on the Rampart, the only thing you should notice is a slightly slower aim down sight time. This brings us to the next weapon change from this little update that we got on Friday, and this is with the SOG 9mm. It actually got a little bit of a buff. And this buff is pretty straightforward. It was a roughly 10% increase to your 6 shot kill potential with the SOG 9mm. 
and this translates to roughly one extra meter to your six shot kill range. I think it's a little bit less than a meter actually, which most of the time you won't notice this, but there will be the odd situation where this will end up helping you out and reducing the number of shots it takes to kill. There's really not too much else to say about this. It was a pretty standard buff, but I will say I didn't really feel like the SOG needed any more of a buff, like it already got a buff earlier this week. But again, I feel like this is one of those changes that is targeted a bit more towards competitive play. They're really trying to fine tune the meta with competitive play, which I think is fine because these changes don't have a really serious negative impact on public matches. And I think that's a good way to handle it. I know a lot of people get really upset when it seems like they're balancing the game and really catering to the pro players and they forget about public matches and sometimes that comes at the cost of public matches. But these particular changes that they made today, I feel like are good for competitive play without really seriously harming public matches in any way whatsoever. Now one last thing they did with this patch is not necessarily a buff or a nerf, more like a little bit of a bug fix. With the Daemon 3XB Iron Sights, they were slightly misaligned and therefore they were actually a couple pixels off center. They have now fixed that so your Iron Sight should be perfectly center now with the Daemon. And with that, that's going to wrap up today's video on that little bit of an update we got on Friday. Of course, I'd like to know in the comments section below, what do you guys think about these updates? And what do you think about the fact that it looks like they're targeting competitive play, but they're also being sensitive to the needs of public matches? Do you think they handled that well with this update, or do you think they did a bad job with it? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.